Hey, how's it going? How's everyone doing? So I came across this by Christina Tamaria. It's these, uh, they're called capital letters. I sent it with a post. It was a snowboard concept design. And it's really cool because it has, you know, the the letter and then the, kind of like an offset uh, second lettering above it. I thought it was really cool. So it's going to be a quick tutorial. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is go to Awesome Color on Instagram. They have really cool color schemes that you can use. I'm going to be using this one because I like the reds and the burgundy. And then after that, I'm gonna go to Photoshop. And with that, I already have my my canvas. So I'm gonna create new just to show you. So my canvas is this one, 1800 by 1800 RGB 300. So other than that, let's continue. First thing you're gonna wanna do is very simply just go with adjustment layer, solid color, and just press okay. So now I'm gonna bring in that color scheme that I got from Awesome Color. And I'm just gonna put it in the corner for now. And then I'm going to double click here and I'm going to click yellow as the background. So I like that one. And the color scheme right here is going to be on the highest layer just so that I can keep referencing. Then I'm going to create a new layer above that one. This one's going to be my text. And I'm just going to write my own name. Wi-Fi train. And the font I'm going to be using is Antro Vectra Boulder. I'll be posting that in the description. All I'm going to do is just make it big and put it right in the middle. There we go, and I'm gonna put the color I want. So usually you're gonna want the lighter color first. And then there you go. So this is the color that's gonna be on top. Then all we're gonna do is we're control J or command J if you're on Mac. And I'm gonna go to the bottom one. I'm gonna turn this off for now. And all I'm gonna do is press control or command and then click right here to select it. Perfect. And then I'm gonna go to my wand tool. It doesn't matter what tool it's on. And then I'm gonna right click and it's just gonna say make a work path and tolerance i can put 0 0.5 and just press okay there you go so i have all these pen points then i'm just going to head over to my pen tool and it's going to give me selection mask and shape all i'm going to do is select shape then after that i have that turned into a shape all i'm going to do is hit my shape tool now so i can actually change the parameters so for fill I'm going to click here and I want it to be that burgundy color. So that's going to be okay. Then for stroke, I want the same thing. I want that burgundy color. And then I'm going to add 10 pixels. So depending on the size of your canvas, this is going to change for my canvas. I need it to be 10 pixels. And then for alignment, I'm going to have outside. For caps, I'm going to be round. And then there we go. So once you click away, you'll have this. And then if you click your Wi-Fi train, the original one that you turned off, Boom, you have your lettering. Next, for this one, the text tool, I'm gonna to just rasterize this. Lastly, all I'm going to do is going to edit, transform, and warp. And this one, I'm just gonna play around with a little bit until I see, kinda of just get that little offset look I want. And this one, it's up to you, depending on how much time you take on it. And you can just feel free to mess with it as much as you want. So. You don't want to do any crazy big changes. You just kind of want to do minor changes. That looks like it was handwritten again, but overlaying it. And you just play with it until you're done. Until you think it looks good. So I'm going to press enter. And the last thing I do, I'm going to hit control T for free transform. And over here for the angle, all I'm going to do is put negative two to give it one last offset look. Press that. Turn off this and that's going to be the effect. Very simple, very fast, easy, and it can be great to just put on some cover designs and anything like that. Other than that, have a good day.